Hello everyone, my name is Denzel Rodriguez, your fellow Kingdom citizen, your host for today. And in this lesson, as we continue to crack open this Kingdom series, understanding the Kingdom of Heaven, God's influence on the Kingdom here on Earth, and then breaking down the financial system of the U.S. economy so that we can rise above that government so that we can live humbly in the kingdom of heaven here on earth so that we can produce kingdom success here on earth so that we can expand the kingdom of heaven god's influence here on earth with the characteristics of a king all right before i dive any deeper into the content of a kingdom financial principles and rules to the U.S. government and the system that we live under. I want to talk about knowing your role in the kingdom. See, once you know your role, or we could say your purpose in life, that is going to really help you define everything you should be working on, producing. It's also going to help you accelerate and move through life at a much faster pace than someone else that does not know their purpose, that does not know why they're here, what they've been built for, what they've been destined to do. So the quicker, the faster we can get to your purpose, knowing your role in the kingdom, the more effective and more impactful and more efficient you will be as a human being, but also as a king, managing the kings the king of kings resources here on earth managing it well a good steward okay so let's dive into the lesson if we're going to know your role in the kingdom the first thing we have to do is understand first the current lenses that you see through your eyeballs right whether you wear contacts no contacts pair of glasses whatever it is the way you see the world right through your eyelids right and the current lenses that you have in front of those eyes is how you process everything you see hear, and do okay so what i want to do in this video is challenge your set of lenses so that you can better understand the kingdom and your role in the kingdom and your purpose in life okay now, there's four major questions that you need to answer at some point in your life. The faster you answer it, I'm telling you, the better it's going to be off in terms of living your life to an, an abundant life, okay? Who am I? Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? Where am I going? Say that one more time. Who am I? Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? Where am I going? The faster you understand those questions, the faster you can answer them, I'm telling you the more efficient you're going to process the world, to process your life, and the people around you, and be of service, be of help to others, okay? In order to answer those questions, right, we have to put it through a processing system in your brain, okay? So the first step is the precept, okay? Which is an original idea. It's the thought before the thought actually enters your brain. Okay, if you want assistance from God, right, and you want him to show you something or you want him to do something for you, a miracle or some sort of promotion or something that would help you advance your life or make your life that much better. Before he gives you the thing, the tool that will improve your life, right, for example, he's first going to plant an idea in your brain. And based on how you process that idea will determine how successful that idea gets executed in this world. Ideas are probably the single most powerful weapon or tool or resource that we have as human beings in terms of starting from nothing, right? Ideas. Ideas are everything, okay? So the precept is the original ideas, the thought before the thought. Think of it 
Think of it this way, how powerful the original idea is. Think about it this way. When Jesus approached John in the lake, right, in the, in the pool of water, notice how Jesus, Son of God, Almighty, all-knowing, is the one that gets baptized by John, John the Baptist. John was preaching the kingdom. He was saying, repent, or the kingdom is going to be arriving soon, right? He was, he was preaching the original intention, the original thought process that God had. And because God made himself man, Jesus, but Jesus submitted to the authority of John the Baptist because he had the original idea of the kingdom, right? And the process. So Jesus as man, almighty, all-knowing, goes through, submits to the current authority because he was the master teacher, right? Or another word for his rabbi. Yeah, John is this master teacher. <laughs> Jesus is all-knowing. So even Jesus submitted to an idea, original. It was his idea. But it was John that was executing it here on earth. And Jesus makes himself man. But God makes himself, manifests himself into a human being flesh to submit to that original idea so that he can then go start his ministry. And the very first public statement Jesus makes is what? Repent, for the kingdom has arrived. Isn't that interesting, right? Amazing. So, precepts. That's the thought before the thought. Once you receive that original idea, now it becomes a concept. Con, let's break it up. Con, one, idea. Sept, okay, thought. Sept means thought, right? So your concept of the thought that went into your mind is now becoming a concept in your brain. Your brain's now trying to make sense of it. It's thinking of it, right? There's an idea there, okay? Mm. Now you're spending more time on it. Now the idea is becoming an idea, a real idea, which is a thought, okay? And it's processing through your mind. You're processing, you're processing, you're thinking about it. You're brainstorming. Maybe you're writing things down. You're, you're cultivating this kingdom thought in your mind, getting ready to execute it through your words, right? Through your mouth. So before it even leaves your mouth, we're already through three processes that has been occurring in your mind so far, right? And then, once that idea has been secured and you know it and you, you're, you're feeling it, you're starting to really manifest it, now it becomes an ideology. Now the thought becomes a believed thought, right? You're now believing in this thought that you have, which is now an ideology. You're thinking of the thought you now believe the thought becomes an ideology, okay? From ideology becomes theology. It's belief. Now you're, you're fully believing this. So now theo is the study of ology, right? Meaning the study of God, okay? So you're studying your belief through processes, right? Writing, studying, learning, experiencing, your ideas on earth manifested, right? You're, 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 you're touching, your, you're now able to touch your thought. Maybe your thought was an invention. Maybe your thought was a business plan. Maybe your thought was a church. Maybe your thought was a cure to cancer, okay? A cure to any sort of disease or maybe your thought was some sort of um, a passion project, okay? Whatever it is. Now it becomes a philosophy. That's the last stage of your thought. This is the action right here of all your thought or thoughts coming together. Now that you've thought it through and you believe the thought, you've studied the thought, now it becomes a philosophy, a way of thinking, a mentality, an attitude, 
a behavior, a way of being. You now have become the thought. You now have become the original thought, the original idea in your mind, and you're now executing. So when you think about your role in the kingdom, it has to go through all these processes. And you don't even realize it. But the more you spend time on it, you'll be able to break things, separate things apart, and start to realize it. And one thing that keeps me very humble while I process these thoughts and ideas, okay, one way to stay humble is tell yourself, God knows more than he told you, okay? God knows more than he told you. That is a great way to stay humble as you process ideas which become ideologies, which become theology, which become your philosophy, your way of thinking, your mentality. Okay? So if I'm going to find out my role in the kingdom, I got to go through this process, right? And I have to make sure that this idea, this thought is in alignment with the kingdom. Does God approve of this thought? Right? And that's where we, you know, begin to read the word and understand, you know, good from evil, right from wrong, sin from righteousness, understanding. And in a chaotic world, it can be very difficult. But when you have a king of kings, an almighty being that can help you through these processes, that is going to help the lens that you look through, right? That is going to help you see a whole new light. So, for example, when it comes to your finances, right? And, and if when it comes to the country that you live under, the more you begin to understand how the country operates in which you live in, the more effective you're going to be with the currency that functions in that country. The more you understand the way that money works in that country, in that domain, in that kingdom, the more you'll be able to be free from it and function in God's intended kingdom for man, for mankind in general, right? So beings in the 21st century, kingdoms is, or kingdom, the word kingdom alone is not such, it's not a very common word. Okay, there's not many kingdoms left on earth. Okay, you, if you live in the United States, you live in a democracy. It's not a kingdom. Okay, there is no one ruler. It's, you have a multitude. You have a house. You have a senate. Okay, you have a president. Right, you have a vice president. You have lots of different opinions and people putting in their ideas, their thoughts, their ideologies, their philosophies into society. The more you understand your God, your kingdom, his kingdom, the better you're going to be able, be able to operate in other people's kingdoms, in other people's countries, right? So here in the U.S., we have to understand how the economy works there, where you live, so that we can rise, we have to process it, right? Put their ideas through your process, through your lens, right? Run it through and see how it matches up to the kingdom. And you'll be able to see the differences, the similarities, right? And the differences. You'll be able to process this stuff, okay? So quick video, just wanted to show you that this is how I was able to process my purpose and understand my role in God's kingdom here on earth. My name is Denzel Rodriguez. Have a wonderful day and God bless.